can see it in your eyes. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Annie and happy 2021. This is the first video I have done this year and I'm super excited because it is my first brand collaboration ever and it's with a company that I really love. So Nordace makes smart backpacks for travel, business, leisure, pretty much anything you can use their bags for and they are really good quality and I just love them so much. They hold so many of your items and keep them really safe and secure. So I'm really excited today to share with you Nordice's new backpack, the Camino. I really like it, it is super durable. First I'm gonna show you how I pack it and then we'll talk a little bit about the pros and cons of the bag. Okay, so before we start, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about how I use the bags. Right now, because we're not really allowed to travel anywhere, I bring this bag to and from hiking destinations that I go to. We spent a lot of time hiking, going on walks with the dogs and trails this year because we do have to stay home. And that's been a really great way for us to still adventure and explore. But when things do start to open up, I will definitely be bringing this as my carry-on bag, my day-use bag, and I'm super excited because it has like so many compartments to hold all my stuff. Um, it's also really great for my camera storage, keeps everything really cushioned and safe. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So starting off, I'm going to show you what I put in my bag, how I pack it, and kind of share the memories that I have with those items. All right, so starting off, we have my laptop. This laptop is so important to me. This was my first purchase as like an adult. I was probably 15 and I bought it all by myself. I have always been a big saver and it was like the first thing I had ever bought. And I remember like I was just so excited, like I was terrified to spend my money, but it was a really big day for me to buy this laptop all by myself. So um, of course, like I said, I like to travel. I have this case on it of the world so if you didn't know i like to travel now you do <laughs> okay the next thing i'm going to put in my bag is this book and this book is the best 30 dollars i've ever spent seriously it i live in ontario which is in canada and i found this little book and it's 110 nature hotspots in ontario so it's like conservation parks wild places, like it talks a little bit about nature and wildlife and this is right up my alley. I love just hiking and taking pictures so um, I found this book and it has so many spots that I can go so I always like to bring this on my trips and it gives me some information about the place I'm going so I love this a lot. There's a couple different compartments here. There's a laptop one then there's another one where you can put books and it's all secured with a strap here. Okay. Um, next I'm going to put my wallet. This wallet is actually super, super old. I went on a trip to the USA outlet shopping. We always do that. We'd always go cross-border shopping. Can't right now. That was from one of the trips I went cross-border shopping. And I like to put this in one of the pockets as well. They've got so many pockets of so many different sizes. Next thing, not super interesting, but really important. I have a peanut allergy, so I always have to bring my EpiPen with me wherever I go. So sliding that in. There's like a little pouch here for skinny things like pens, so that pen fits perfectly in there. All right, next I'm gonna bring my passport. Obviously I wouldn't bring this if I'm just going on a hike near me, but I'm talking like if I'm going um, on an airplane, traveling, where I need my passport or something. I actually have two passports because I um, live in Canada, but I'm also a British citizen, so I always like to bring both of them. This passport has brought me everywhere. It's actually about to expire, but there are so many stickers on it from all the travels. I brought this passport actually to Europe with me when I went backpacking with my boyfriend and my two friends. So um, this passport has a lot of memories <laughs> and a lot of stamps. Um, Nordace actually has some really good secure places for your important documents in your bag. So I'm just going to slide that right in here, make sure that no one pit pockets or takes it. I've never had any issues with anything like that, but Nordice makes me have some peace of mind with my important stuff in my bag. All right, next thing is this perfume. And I know this sounds so silly, but I brought this perfume to Europe with me um, when I went backpacking with my friends. And whenever I smell it, the perfume, it, it just like brings me right back to the time we were there. I don't know if other people have that as well, but there's certain perfumes I have and it reminds me as soon as I smell it that, of that like time period of life, specifically this one reminds me of um, that trip. It just reminds me of like our Airbnb in Rome <laughs> so much. I don't know why, but 
um, definitely packing this and I always like to bring this on my trips because it always reminds me of traveling and good times now I'm gonna put this in a one of the more cushion pockets just because it is glass and I don't want it to break obviously okay next I'm going to put my journal again I wouldn't bring this if I'm just going on a hike around town but I would definitely bring this journal if I was going um, traveling somewhere this journal has brought me through lots of travels as you can see I have a lot of tickets and just receipts and memories and pictures and just some journal notes of our travels so this is super important to me I actually want to convert this into a bigger scrapbook but um, definitely like to bring this I still have like half of it left that I can write more travel notes in so super excited to add to this so I'm gonna slide it in nice and secure and safe in there perfect all right, next thing I'm going to bring is this hat. I actually got this hat recently at Christmas for my boyfriend. He bought this for me and I've literally worn it all year. <laughs> like I never take this off. It's winter here. And um, seriously, I've been wearing this everywhere when we go tobogganing and um, going on hikes and walking the dogs. This is my new, <laughs> new favorite accessory. So adding this in. Another thing that I always, always bring is a deck of cards. You never know when you're going to be stuck in an airport or your plane's delayed or train's delayed or anything. I just always bring cards. We love playing cards in our family, so just always a really good game to have. I'm just going to slide those in the front little pocket there. Also going to slide my face mask in there as well because 2020, 2021, probably 2022, you know, we're all going to need to wear masks, staying safe. Also going to plop my AirPods in here. Actually gonna put those in the front. So AirPods are going in again into one of the small little secure pockets in there. Actually gonna put them in the zipper pouch. I love how they have all these pockets because everything has a certain place and you always remember where it's supposed to be. So it just helps your bag not get messy and it always stays organized. So after my laptop, this was the next purchase I made was this camera. Like I said, I love taking pictures and I love photography. Again, I was super excited but nervous to spend my hard-earned money, but I definitely think it was worth it. It got me where I am today with creating photography and videography. So I'm gonna add this into my bag. Okay, the last thing that I need to add is this water bottle. This water bottle actually has a lot of memories. Like I said, we live pretty close to the USA, so sometimes we'll just go cross-border shopping, go for dinner. There's some restaurants um, in the US that we don't have in Canada. Obviously, we love going to Target, so um, that's what happened with this water bottle one night. My best friend Emily and I, we just decided to go to Target, and we went on a little shopping spree, got this water bottle, now it comes with me everywhere I go. <laughs> so. Um, they actually have this little secret compartment back here. You can pull out this water bottle holder. So it's really nice because if you don't have a water bottle, you don't need a big bulky um, compartment. Or if you do have one, then you can pull it out when needed. And then there's just a little strap that comes across and secures it right there. Okay, now I've showed you how I pack my bag and how I pack all my special and memorable items into it and bring with me safely and securely. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the bag, some things I like, some things I don't like. So first of all, when you look at this bag, it is super durable. The material makes it water resistant and also if you spill anything, it's super easy to clean. You can get this bag in a couple different colors. So the front has these two pockets. I would put probably not valuable things in there. Um, one thing that's really cool though is that they have this, they have this place for you to add your keys onto it. So um, it stays nice and secure, not gonna fall out there. But then we have the top part, which also has a zipper, kind of a hidden zipper. So you could add some more storage up there. They just have storage areas everywhere, which I love. The bag, itself it is opened from the top so you have to undo this strap and then you kind of can add everything in um, from the top and there's lots of different pockets inside which you'll see here in a second but the top secures with this string and the buckle magnet here something that i think is really cool about this bag is you can also access the stuff from the side so if you don't want to you know have to 
go through the top and undo all that. You just need to grab something quickly. You can also just go from the side, which is super cool. But yeah, inside they have laptop compartment, another book compartment, a couple medium sized pockets. On the other side, we have a big zipper to hold any secure items. We've got some spots to hold your cards, um, some pen holders, some more medium sized pockets. So lots of storage. Your stuff is not going to get lost in this bag. One of my favorite parts when traveling is putting my backpack on top of my suitcase. It's just way easier to hold all your stuff. So this bag actually has this part, which you can put your suitcase right, your suitcase handles right into it. So it just sits perfectly on your bag. It's not going to topple over. The last thing, which is really cool I like, is this secret pocket at the back. And typically this is where you'd put your passport or any really important documents if you didn't want to put it inside the backpack. And it's really hidden, like someone probably wouldn't know unless you're the bag owner. But when you wear your bag, it's hidden at your back like this. So there's no way that anyone can get to your important documents. Overall, I don't have anything bad to say about this bag. The handle is super durable. The straps are super durable. It looks really modern and it's super cute. Perfect for the modern adventurer like myself. Thank you to Nordace for collaborating with me and gifting me this bag to share it with you guys. You can also use the link in the description to purchase one if you would like. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I have a bunch more videos coming. Um, we have recently gotten another puppy, so stay tuned for that video. And be sure to check out Nordace's uh, products in the description below. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! How did we end up here in the corner looking like enemies? We used to be the team people talk about what a chemistry. I can see it in your eyes. You don't want to talk anymore.